Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I beat level 190 with the white pieces. And I think I had to get used to going second. And future games, I'm probably going to be switching back and forth. I thought about beating the level with both starting and going second, but... The goal is to get to 300 and so I do want to make it like I do want to get practice with both definitely something that you want to do as a shogi player as a chess player as a checkers player um, because you never know when you're going to need to go second and if all you've done is practice going first there is a big difference, but here we go. So I was able to use one of my favorite um, openings, which is always good. I enjoy attacking. <laughs> I played this level several times probably I want to say this was my fourth game and I knew that this would work but I made some tactical errors I was sacrificing my bishop for that silver um, that's by his king and uh, that was not that was not a good sacrifice Here I'm trying to get my knight into a fork position, but he sacks his bishop, so I have to kind of change strategy. I'm trying to promote my rook. I thought I was going to be toast right there. I was able to promote this bishop, and that really helped. Um, I put that pawn there so he would bring his gold out so I could get that silver. His gold is just kind of hung out there. I didn't think he would go for this, but he just gives me the rook. I didn't check how many moves this was. There I have the silver pinned. I want now I'm pinning the other silver. Um, he's, his bishop right there was attacking that rook, but I sacked the rook, still have his silver pinned, go around the rook. Um, I was tempted to not take that, that, um, lance, but. And I had a knight, so I was able to protect that pawn that's in front of his bishop. Here he's trying to avoid what's about to happen. Sacked a lance. And he resigns right here. So, as you can see, very interesting game. Hundred and twenty six moves. If you want to learn um, shogi notation, um, shogi two has this. Um, this game record that you can look at how the notation goes. 
um, I'm very familiar with algebraic notation, which is more for chess. Um, I'm more of a chess player than I am a shogi player. This is a it's a game that I learned about in uh, in Japan, and uh, it's a great game. Is it better than chess? I would say it's tied. Um, the differences in chess and shogi, there's, it's nine by nine squares for shogi. When you capture a piece, you can put the piece back on the board as your own. But the pieces are less powerful than chess pieces. Like the knights can only move forward, they can't move backwards, and they can't move sideways. They can't do the sideways L, only the forward L. The lance um, can only move forward, not backwards. The pawns kill forward. I mean, there's, there's enough subtle differences to make, in my opinion, chess and shogi an equal level of fun, I'm going to say. But thank you for watching the channel. Have a wonderful day.